Welcome to Interference and Chill, the chill drawing stream where, oh, it looks broken on my screen. Is it broken? It's broken. Why is it broken? Hi, hello. Why are you broken? Alright, it's not broken anymore. <laughs> that happened last week. Well, not last week. I wasn't here last week. That happened the week before. Something to do with studio mode and me transitioning just breaks breaks my overlay and interference doesn't show up but hey yes hello welcome to interference and chill with ferret i am ferret and i'm about to play some interference that's that's pretty much it that's all there is to this stream really uh it's a weekly uh midweek wednesday stream uh though i wasn't around Ooh, that music seems a little loud and i don't seem all that loud myself okie dokie hi can you can you hush a bit that's that's better i'll do this hey hello i'm not in like the proper ranges why why okay there we go <laughs> all right i think everything's set up i'll like make that a bit more okay cool all right let's see what interference has for us today well this week i haven't played for two weeks i wasn't around last week because i was really busy don't even ask. Uh, I couldn't tell you anyway, um, but don't ask. Oh. Anyway, shall we start with some descriptions like every week and what, what on earth is this? <laughs> Great way to start, hey? <laughs> oh, they never fail to disappoint. What is this? I'm not sure. I'm not sure what this is. Um, uh, uh, hmm. Oh, you know what? Actually, I do know what this is because I. It may have turned up in in the mod category earlier, uh, and I had a look at it. So let's not do that one because I actually know what that one is. This one I don't know. Uh, <laughs> Uh, officers on duty <laughs> for jail 10. That's jail 10. Bam. That's. We'll go with that. I don't know what else is. I mean, they've got a cop badge and a. Is that a. gun? I don't know. And there's this guy and then a small child. Uh. And then they're walking up the path to jail 10. I mean, what else is it going to be, really? Let's just put jail 10 in capitals. Take your kids to work day at jail 10. Yes, we'll go with that. All right. Wait, am I, am I sounding a bit too loud now? I don't know. Ah, my audio. I've not touched my streaming software for like pretty much two weeks now. So it's, it's all gone wonky without me, apparently. Uh... All right. Oh, hello. <laughs> that made a strange noise. I've not heard that noise before. No one's attacked me <laughs> while I've been just chilling here in the chat. Hello, Vex Tapestry. Or should I say, Mr. Tapestry? Uh, hi. Welcome. Thank you for thank you for watching my stream. I sound fine. That's great. Can you also hear the the chill music? Because that's kind of part of the stream. <laughs> It's not it's not a chill stream if we don't have my chill music. Um I I think it's all oh, fine. Looks fine on my end, so we're gonna say it's it's fine. But it's looked fine on my end before and you could not hear me at all. <laughs> Oops. What is this? This will help your stiff shoulders. This isn't a wrestling match. I don't know what this is. Why are people... what? Are these supposed to be people in the audience? Because, I mean, they just look like peas. Pee. Pee for people! I understand it. <laughs> I understand it now. Oh. Alright. It's pee for people. I mean, that guy's a person. He's got a spiral head. Uh, I mean, this guy's kind of, you know, apparently over the... ring... string... whatever. <laughs> Whatever it's I don't watch like boxing or wrestling. Spiral head for the win. Yes. 
I mean, what is this guy? Like, this weird pointy guy here. Like, I don't understand what that is. <laughs> that was just a bunch of peas. They're called ropes. Thank you. <laughs> String. I was like, there's another word for this, but I don't know what it is <laughs> at the moment. Ropes. Yes, they're called ropes. Thank you. Um... Mm. <laughs> I don't know what to say. It's a boxing match. Match. Takes takes a very relaxing turn. There we go. Draw that, somebody. <laughs> okay. Right, I think that's enough descriptions for now. Let's let's get to what we're actually here for. And we are here for I seem to have like a, a few a few people in the in the mixer viewer category. <laughs> words are not my best. Yeah, words. No words today. <laughs> bad bad with words today. That that sounds about right. Let's go interactive. Connecting. Oh yeah. Oh, I haven't fixed my. It's broken. It it, oh, it breaks breaks my overlay. I haven't fixed it. Don't know why. I don't fix it. Yeah, now this one goes a bit wonky and you can't really see because it, it goes off the screen a bit. Oh well. Okay, what should I draw next? Almost exploding firework factory, get away. Seems like a good one. I'm watching Bigfoot's back as he climbed a tree. Uh, apparently. I was trying to vote myself, but apparently I couldn't click it. Hey, we're having problems. <laughs> is is Mixplay broken? Is it still broken? <laughs> is this broken? It says I have nine. Nine. There's nine people up there. What? There's not that many on Mix Mixplay. <laughs> Please. <laughs> you had no options, Mr. Tapestry. You had no options. I couldn't click my own options. We broke it. <laughs> it's, it's just like the quiz. We broke it. Might have to... Might have to say no to the... Uh, <laughs> to mix play. The, uh, the interactive mix play options this week. Because I don't know if it's uh, doing alright. <laughs> like, I, uh, I haven't spoken to Breadmower since the quiz collapsed um, <laughs> on Sunday. <laughs> You're right, we can try it again, but I uh, I don't know. Yeah, cause it says, it says like in the little people area, it says there's nine. Uh, on Mixer, I have four viewers, so wh where is this nine coming from? <laughs> hmm, we shall, we shall find out uh, at some point, I'm sure. <laughs> nine, I wish, I wish I had nine. What am I doing here? Almost exploding firework factory. Oh boy, we know what happened last time. <laughs> well, last time I tried fireworks. I believe I believe you were around for that, uh, Mr. Tapestry. <laughs> that was the the sack boy in his pyrotechnic display. Um, this is a factory. Uh, I remember they were amazing. Mm, not the word I'd use. <laughs> but sure, almost exploding. Like it's mm, all right. It's gonna have to be a firework factory. On fire. And then, oh. <laughs> Here I am trying to draw. And it's like, that's the same colour you were using for the thing. Alright. That's the door to the firework factory. Oh, it's wonky. You can tell I haven't drawn in two weeks. <laughs> that's why my door looks really wonky. Okay, I'll make it bigger. It's firework factory for giants. Um, I don't know what else to do. <laughs> On the factory itself. I'm not good at drawing buildings. Uh... Oh no. Like sure, this is... I don't know what this is. What is this? I don't know. Let's just draw it on fire. <laughs> when in doubt, set it on fire. <laughs> oh. Okay. So... Yeah, I'll probably do like a big sign that says Firework Factory or whatever. Cheat a little bit, put words on it. <laughs> Oops. 
mm, words were not supposed to be a thing on this game, but mm, as if anyone follows that rule. <laughs> Is it a rule? Is that rule set in stone? Has it ever been an actual rule? Does does interference have actual rules? That went really wonky. <laughs> These are questions we, we need to ask. You'd think I'd know. I know we have rules for, you know, being a good person and all that, but uh, when it comes to the drawings, I'm not I'm not quite sure. Hmm. Alright. Hello! Hello Gladiator! Nice to see you again! <laughs> Hi! How oh no, you joined me. You were also around the last time I had to draw fireworks and that. Yeah, it went bad lost. Look, I just filled this back in and now I'm having to wonk it up again. <laughs> oh, What did I do? Why did, why did I like straighten it out? Okay. Alright. Maybe it should be wonky anyway because the building was on fire. <laughs> I feel like this is very, very much my style. Like my buildings are really blocky and then the corner. <laughs> Usually this corner. Um, should we add some like red? Red to the fire? Yeah, why not? It's not a fire if it doesn't have red in. Said someone. <laughs> Me, probably. <laughs> um, okay, alright. Let's have a see if I can straighten that up. Sure, that, that works. <laughs> it's, it's even more wonky, but whatever. <laughs> oh dear. I don't know what this line is. Um, okay, let's let's try let's try something. Let's try and get rid of this line first. Okay, okay, all right. We got this. I don't know how to make it look like a. Why is that really wonky? <laughs> I made it wonkier, didn't I? I really did. Like, hey, the fire is gonna like leak in. I don't know why the fire stops on the corner. Look, this fire goes here, and then the fire comes in a bit more like this. Cool. Sounds good. Doesn't sound good. Sounds good. Sure. <laughs> Sounds good. Um, I've forgotten what I was going to do. <laughs> yes. It's a big sign. Good enough. <laughs> Hello, Ghostbuster number five. I, I struggled with that for a moment. I was like, Ghostbuster no? Five? Hmm. This was number five. I got it. I understood. I also was not drawing anything then. <laughs> okay. I've got to draw the fireworks and I only have three, four minutes left. Ah, uh, panicking. Panicking. Okay. Okay. Firework. Back. To. Bam! It's a firework factory! <laughs> You're one of the few who got it right first time! Yes! I'm really bad at names! Oh, that makes me so happy. Okay, fireworks. How did I draw fireworks last- How do I draw fireworks? <laughs> oh no. Um, it's just a bunch of lines, right? Ah. Uh, I don't want to do it. <laughs> um, uh... Fireworks. Sure. <laughs> blip. 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 Oh, I did these noises last time. I made a noise for like every... Oh, some of them got a bit wonky. Cool. It looks a little better than last time. I will admit. I'm gonna have to find that drawing from last time. Uh. Cool. Okay, then we'll do some like purple. It's a fancy pink and purple. Different colours too. Yes! You're right, Ghostbuster. Here we go. Here we go. Getting this, getting this done. Alright. Uh, oh, too many there. How about some... No, I said undo. How about some blue as well? We'll do blue on the outside. There we go. Like the fire. It set the firework factory on fire. And it's almost exploding. Get away. Oh no, what about the get away? Should I make... Tiny people. Maybe another one in the other corner. I'll do that if I have time. Um, but for now, I like 
No, uh, mm, I want little people trying to run away. It says get up. That's too small of a. I'm leaning forward. I always lean forward. That head's too big now. What have I done? Okay, good idea. Here's some little people. They're running. <laughs> they don't have bodies, but they're running. Here we go. It's gonna be stick people. Okay, how do I draw running? Ah! <laughs> I think that looks perfect. Little stick people running away. Blip blip. Wah! Flee! Flee the almost dick. Oh, his body is in two. He got so scared he kind of just fell apart. Okay. Alright, the first one was the best. How did I do that? Like that. There we go. And they're all screaming. Ah! Cool. That needs to be like longer there so it actually looks like a H. Eh, eh, in a little speech bubble. Okay. Almost exploding firework factory. Let's do like a a green one quick. A very quick green firework over here and try not to kind of uh oh, this one looks a bit wonky. There's gonna be no way of undoing this one. <laughs> It's too many lines, the undo won't go that far. Whip, 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 whip. Oh, oh, I went over that line. As if I could ever have managed that. Um, with some like yellow in it as well. Lovely, these fireworks are. I mean, I would be a little disappointed if I saw these fireworks in the sky. But for a drawing, Ghostbuster, job well done. Thank you. Thank you! That's like the biggest compliment I've gotten! Job well done! No one... Okay, I... Hi! I'm... Oh, I ran out of time. <laughs> I'm still trying to draw, like, I was... I'm sure I had enough time to, like, outline the door. No. No. Alright. The firework factory itself looks a little bland, but... <laughs> I don't know why it's got this lump on it. <laughs> but I think everything else looks really great. There we go. Almost exploding firework factory. Get away. We did it. Right. I'm gonna go find the other fireworks. So here is my current. Let's open it another tab. For the moment. That is my current firework factory. Uh, this one does not appear to be on here. Here we go. I forgot how bad it was. Okay, let's scroll down. Contains not safe for work content. Oh, hello. <laughs> that is inappropriate. That is my original drawing that I, that I did of fireworks. Oh, welcome back, but that I mentioned earlier, I'm bad, bad at, bad at words today. Words are not working, but well, welcome back. I, welcome black. Sure. Welcome back, gladiator. That's what I'm trying to say. But yes, this is my original attempt at firework. It's Sackboy. Sack as if you couldn't figure out that it was Sackboy. Actually, the description gets cut off at the top. It says Sackboy, like, right here, where I'm highlighting. But yes, that's the original firework attempt. And then, down here, we're getting a sneak peek at, uh, this unfinished game. That's my current firework attempt. I think that's a lot better. I have improved. Good job, me. I did it. I did it. I can do fireworks a little better. Hello! Hello, Sean Runs Halo! Hi! Welcome to the stream! You see me looking at terrible pictures of fireworks, but yeah. That is an improvement, i definitely say. A plus! Thank you, Ghostbuster! Alright. Since I have quite a few, shall we attempt some interactive description choosing again? Shall we try it? Let's connect to Mixplay. If you have Mixer open, in any way you can choose. It didn't quite work last time because I couldn't I couldn't press my I can't choose my own items apparently. It's not working. Yeah. Seems we're having a few problems with interactive stuff at the moment, guys. <laughs> Unfortunately. Yeah, I can't press like I I have it open and I cannot press my own my own button but someone apparently managed to press it uh not working on xbox oh well uh where where am i from 
I am from England. Uh, can you not tell with my accent? It's all over the place and slightly American when I stream, apparently. That's a weird thing. Zeitgeist breakdown test card. That seems very topical. <laughs> <laughs> whoever whoever was the one person that could use the interactive good job okay so that guy's breakdown test card all right if you don't know what zeitgeist is it's the quiz we run oh goodness i have my microphone i'm all over the place today i uh i promise you i am just drinking water <laughs> but yes um if you don't know what zeitgeist is zeitgeist is the interactive quiz we run every sunday on this channel <laughs> god he says that's not water you say this every 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 stream <laughs> but yes um we run an interactive quiz it's very fun sometimes it breaks we can't do much about that right so zeitgeist much like my starting stream card for these streams uses this lovely lovely orange color as you see with all the interference stuff i don't think i have like is that see we have a problem here because if you see my top banner and then you see these two shades of orange like we don't actually have the perfect interference orange on interference <laughs> oh hello friend i was saying hey it doesn't go wrong that often did I did I say it? I mean I meant it occasionally goes wrong. Sometimes it goes wrong. Sometimes it works flawlessly. <laughs> um, <laughs> I'm, I'm sorry. I got a bit distracted with we had we had more important things like the fact that we don't have interference orange. Um, <laughs> but yes, uh, Zeitgeist went very wrong this week um zeitgeist actually that's a good point i should probably change the orange to the, to the proper orange should i'm glad i pointed this out okay see that is this like no that's close enough to the zeitgeist but i don't have anything that i can do the spiral with i feel like this is gonna go terrible if i attempt to spiral <laughs> okay all right i'm gonna have this this is oh no it's like too thin but this is like too big let's do this because then it's gonna look a little better as a spiral ah it's got monkey it's fine it, it's fine Ooh, when you go off screen it just drags it along from the bottom didn't know that now i do okay let's try that again with this new information <laughs> and let's not drag it all across the bottom of the, the screen Let's just like go to the edges. Uh, might need to like go a little. Okay, okay, it's not. It's not gonna work otherwise. That's where we stop with the spiral. <laughs> All right, what have we had? What have we had? Sean runs Halo is now following. Thank you. Thank you for following. I'm glad you're enjoying the stream, as messy as it is. <laughs> also, I sound cool apparently. That. Thank you. That's just what I needed this week. Uh, can I like make this like look like it's gonna spiral off? And then we'll ignore the fact that it should be like in, in, in that corner and then in this corner too. Um, it's fine. It's fine. How am I gonna do this? I kinda wanna do it like... I'm just gonna open a new tab. Cuz. Bread mower there had a great idea over in... <laughs> over in uh, the discord chat at one point for an interference breakdown card that was <laughs> him holding one of his cats trying to play noughts and crosses no not him trying to play that's it it's the bbc we're having technical difficulties one with yes that's what we're gonna do we're gonna do a quick version of this but it's bread mower and his cat playing noughts and crosses not gonna use the BBC test card. Yes, I remember. And I was very disappointed when this week's technical difficulties popped up. And it, oh, that's gonna be too big, but I don't want it like to zite. I'm having to like look at the, the current. <laughs> this. Guys. 
I'm not confident about spelling zeitgeist because there's a lot of E's and I's. <laughs> Um, I should have done that in like black and then gone over it in the orange, but because there's no way I'm going to be able to outline that. No time for that. Okay, cool. Right, here we go. It's going to be the BBC test card. It's Nathan, Mr. Breadmower, playing Noughts and Crosses with his cat. Because <laughs> why not? Why not? Um, is that spelt right? Oh, apart from you need to cross the teeth. <laughs> well caught. Um. <laughs> oh, I crossed the T with the smaller one. I was so trying to get the T in like the right shape. Uh, it's spelt right now. <laughs> I was like looking at the zeitgeist on the past streams and this is a mess. What is this? No one's going to understand what this is. Okay, here we go. I'm really sorry that I'm gonna do a terrible. No, I should do like the noughts and crosses first. This is like the chalkboard. I only have four minutes! Ah! If only we had the interactive bit where it gave me more time. <laughs> where people could give me more time. We could have this masterpiece, but it's, it's not gonna be a masterpiece. Okay, th this is. I'm really sorry about this. <laughs> ah. Hi. This, this, this is how I draw people. No one's gonna understand who this is. That's too much beard. <laughs> maybe, maybe less. You know when you forget how someone looks? Yeah, I'm having that right now. <laughs> it's like, hmm, that tea. Stop pointing out the T that I didn't cross! <laughs> um, yeah, I'm currently like, how, 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 how does this person I've known for years look <laughs> now that I have to draw them? Oh, that's so derpy. I'm, I'm keeping it. Okay, okay. Oh, goodness. Oh, goodness. What does the test card look like again? It has this yellow. It has a yellow tablecloth for some reason. <laughs> sure. That looks atrocious. We'll do it. A dark orange tablecloth. This looks really bad, but... Oh no, it can't be dark orange, because like Dave or Grumble, whoever, whoever I'm drawing, is, is gonna blend in with it. Uh, oops. I've not decided on which cat I'm drawing. Um, but, okay, it's, oh, ooh. I'll draw it in like smaller ones. Okay, cool. This is perfectly like the BBC test card so far. Um, okay, cool. Nathan is wearing his his Vedact t-shirt. Now available in the store, I hope. Still still available, I hope. I believe so. Last time I checked, it's still available. Don't know the store URL. <laughs> but it's a thing. <laughs> Okay, oh no, his arm needs to be like, oh, you've got a really wonky arm. I'm sorry, your, your arm needs to be behind the shortboard as well. Oh no, I've got a minute left. Okay. Okay, you're clearly holding a piece of chalk. There we go. That is a piece of... It just looks like he's got a giant nail. <laughs> okay. This has gone terribly wrong and might be slightly offensive. Uh, I'm not even looking at chat right now. <laughs> I'll look at it after. It's got like a bone arm. Like in the shape of a bone. Okay, that is... <laughs> he needs like a mouth. He's, he's... No! No! Maybe... I can't draw like a little... Sure! He's got this happy little mouth! <laughs> cool. We did it! 20 seconds to draw a cat! No! It's a cat! Blah! It's got a tail! It's got a tail! It's hanging off! Um... Ah! Uh... 16 seconds, I'm panicking. It's it's looking at the screen so you can't see that it's it's a cat. There we go. It's a masterpiece. Tail should be a bit longer. Ah. Uh, what have I done? <laughs> oh. 
<laughs> I'm just saying. Oh my goodness, that all. Oh. The cat is pretty good. Oh, he can't know eyes. <laughs> oh, oh, hello, Amber. Hi. Thank you for joining. <laughs> oh, it's so nice to have an interference regular. Another interference regular with us. Oh, it seems legit. It's a faceless. Hey, it's not a faceless cat. It's looking at the screen. <laughs> that cat got too close to Chernobyl. Stop. <laughs> Leave, leave Grumble alone. He's already been through enough. <laughs> I've said it's Grumble. Uh, <laughs> it's looking at the board. Yeah, see? Ghostbuster understands. <laughs> but yeah, this... I think it, I think this should be a, a legit thing. Like, bread mower. Get, get on that. Like, you, this needs to be the... It doesn't even say that there's breakdown or a testing there's no technical difficulties on this it kind of looks a bit like the looney tunes intro if anyone knows what i mean like it's 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 nathan hanging out with a cat for looney tunes sure a bit yeah oh this is a mess but i'll submit it I'm totally gonna grab the high version of that and use it. Don't use the actual. Don't use that. That. <laughs> ah. All right. I can. I can close. <laughs> I, I can close my Discord now. I, I found what I needed to. <laughs> I don't even want to look at my. Let's join another. Let's go into connecting to Mixplay. Sure, because that we just joined another. Okay. Let's see if Mixplay works this time. We've got a vote. We've, we've got votes. It's it's a lot better. It works. Yes. One of these choices though. Own voodoo, own death. Or sing along song. Good. Hmm. I am confused. Also, I have no idea what emoji you just used to vex tapestry because it turned up as a little square on web. Uh, let's see. Oh, it's a happy face. <laughs> Works this time. Great. It worked. <laughs> own voodoo, own death. What does this mean? Someone help. <laughs> you voted for this. What does this mean? Own voodoo, own... Ghostbuster number five is now following. Thank you. I'm so glad that people are actually enjoying this. Does Voodoo dies? Okay, cool. We'll go with that. You're the first person to answer me. I'm gonna do a split split screen. I'll maybe maybe make it a bit of a, bit of a... I'm gonna do a split screen. It's this guy doing Voodoo at the top. I keep like leaning forward. Like, I don't know why I have to get like real real close to my keyboard. In order to draw, <laughs> but apparently I do. Um, I, I should sit up straight. Okay, this this is a guy. He, he's doing voodoo. That's his neck. <laughs> Maybe a voodoo doll of themselves. You you expect me to? Look, it's, it's gonna it's, it's gonna look like bread mower again. This is default. It's default. Bearded guy is <laughs> doing voodoo. Um, I'm very sorry. If you're still watching, please don't be. <laughs> um, okay. Though, if, if anyone else wants to tell me what hair color they have, and if they have a beard, I'll totally draw you. <laughs> Do you want to be doing voodoo? <laughs> Uh, all right. Oh goodness. Oh, right. That, those sleeves are massive. Okay. All right. Uh, I'm not sure how to approach this. I'm gonna have a weird, weird arm again. It's a really weird arm. What is this? Okay. Fix the arm. Cool. It, it kind of looks like it's bent. Though arms don't do that. <laughs> It's like the bendy arm. Hey. Alright. Okay. Let's fix the sleeve. 
Um, he's got a voodoo doll of himself. What do voodoo dolls look like? Voodoo doll. Can you buy them? <laughs> oh god, they look really... That's a scary image search. Let's not... I will just make it up. Voodoo backfired. <laughs> oh! That was a right click. Oh, I can draw with right click too. I never knew. It just brings up options afterwards. All right. Uh, no, we should be holding it by the torso. All right. This is a voodoo doll. It's got really, really chunky arms. Okay. It looks like a tiny baby. Um. <laughs> This looks like a tiny dead baby. Oh, what have I done? <laughs> How do I make it look like a voodoo doll? Help. Help needed. Um. Uh. I don't know. I don't know. What do I do? Um. Help. Oh. I undid the eye. Um. Uh, okay, it's gonna look like. It's gonna. It's just gonna look like a baby version of the guy. But he's trying to stab with a needle. That seems a bit too wrong. Give it a red shirt. Yes. You're right. Give it a red. It's got a red. Uh, now it's gonna be a baby in a red shirt. Uh, I feel like I've gotten, you know, a little, a little uh, Star Trekky with this. You know, I mean, it's a red shirt. Um. <laughs> Everyone knows red shirts die. That's what's gonna happen here. What is this voodoo doll? I don't know how to make it any better. Um, it's a Star Trek voodoo doll. Got like a pin sticking out of its head already. Um. <laughs> this has gone horribly wrong. Okay. Ah! The arm is too big. Okay. He's holding. This arm looks a lot straighter. It can't be worse than. What are you trying to say? <laughs> what? What is Grandma rolling down the hill? You know what? It. It can't be anymore. What is that hand? I don't know what I was trying to do that. It can't be any more um, non-family friendly than uh... Right, he's sticking nails in it for some reason, because that's the best I could do. Um, any more unfamily friendly than Grandma rolling down the hill was, because that got pretty... I don't know, I think just the, the whole concept of it got a little graphic. Um, all right, this is a guy. We're gonna have. He's got, he's got brown hair this time. It's it's not a a carbon copy of, of Nathan that I just drew, because <laughs> that might be a, a little offensive. Uh, he, he's he's got a bigger beard, covering up his neck with his beard. All right, that's how you know the voodoo doll is him because it's it's got crazy hair. And a beard. That's how you know it's not a baby, because it's got a beard. Bam, we did it. Beards for the win, exactly. Um, beards make things not look like babies. That voodoo doll's really happy. It shouldn't be. I just wanted to put, like, the, the gap for the mouth. I didn't- Ah, stop looking happy. Okay, cool. It's, it's not wearing, like, any- We don't have to- I'm running out of time. I need to draw this guy dead now. Four minutes to draw the dead guy. Couldn't it real fine here? <laughs> oh, I like. I feel like I need chat watching the clock, so c chat can tell me when I've used up most of my time, because <laughs> I get far too into telling the story of this bearded dead guy. Um, Okay, he's now on his side. Uh, quickly. Uh, panicking. Like, I swear, two weeks ago I was better at drawing than this. What has happened in two weeks? I need to, like, regain. Regain my skill. I'm sorry for all the people watching that have tuned in this week. Because we've, we've had a lot more tune in. Alright. This is... He's gonna have the cross eyes that that voodoo doll had. There we go. That's how you know. <laughs> okay, this is fine. He's... There's his neck. He's gonna have a neck again. 
Oh. And there's this, there's this t-shirt. It's just a bit like, he doesn't need arms anymore. He's just dead. He lost his arms. <laughs> he must have pulled them off the voodoo doll. Uh. Okay, maybe you should have arms. He's got arms still. <laughs> They're a little, a little thinner. He lost some weight. <laughs> okay, no, there we go. Fat arms are back. Nice. They apparently don't attach to his shoulders, actually. He's wearing the weirdest thing now. <laughs> he's wearing, he's turned it into a tank top. Um. Okay, let's add the sleeves back on. There we go. Maybe he should have like jeans. He should be wearing jeans too. There we go. <laughs> it's like a Lego man. <laughs> there we go. Perfect. Own voodoo, own death. Whatever, whatever that means. I still don't understand. Own voodoo, own death. It's still just a little weird. Like, I don't quite understand what was going on there. But... I think... Trousers for the live guy! Oh no! Oh! He's not wearing trousers! Oops! Ah! Uh, trousers for the live guy! Ah! Uh, now only dead people can wear trousers! Didn't you know? <laughs> okay. There we go. Ah, oh, I need to draw like the t-shirt, like overhanging the trousers a bit, like like that. Cool. Trousers for the live guy. He needs the leg partition too. Nice. Here we go. Didn't realize you grow legs when you die. <laughs> what about the voodoo? The voodoo doll's not wearing trousers. Oh no. <laughs> okay, now it is. He's not. He's not wearing shoes either. It's just his. He's wearing really baggy trousers. That's why you can't see feet or shoes. <laughs> like I could, I could, I could put shoes on somewhere. Um, but oh, he's not even like holding the the voodoo doll properly. There we go. Now he is. He's holding it. Bah. <laughs> I kind of messed up that voodoo doll's arm. Oh. What happened to my microphone? Why? When did it end up down there? What on earth? What the heck? What's going on? Why is my microphone gone wonky? Oh, <laughs> uh, okay. Is that why? Yeah, I'm like, I put it. I put it. I put, it felt really weird then. Okay. Maybe I should interference and chill shirts to the store. Only dead people wear trousers. Yes. <laughs> we need we need interference and chill merch. Like, I'd, I'd wear that all the time. <laughs> Only dead people wear trousers. Oh my god. Yes. I feel like I should just buy that Zeitgeist breakdown test card on a t-shirt. Just straight up, but yes. <laughs> oh, this is a mess. He doesn't even have a mouth. The dead guy doesn't have a mouth. Why didn't someone tell me? <laughs> Only dead guys wear trousers and have no mouth, apparently. Sure, submit, take it away. <laughs> get it get it away from me. Oh dear. The dead can't speak, that's true. Or can they? <laughs> Alright, let's join another. If you're still on mixer, you can choose, hopefully it works. Stop pointing out the water! It is water! I mean, I, I'm glad for where these folks have gone, to be honest. The irony craft food is tired. I, I don't think I'd know what to draw there. Um, but also trying to comfort a girl whose house is on fire. I don't know, I don't know, I'm... <laughs> okay, sure, let's, let's get straight into it. There's a house on fire, help. What colour should I do the house? Um, uh, you know the house is going to be in this corner. That's a really ugly colour for a house. 
It's always a corner. Oh, it's always a corner house. Uh, it's on fire, and it's just gonna. <laughs> I think I should have fireworks. <laughs> okay, it's got a roof. Because houses have roofs. Good job, me. This is like the most basic house. <laughs> it's like a child would draw a house. Maybe it's worse than how a child would draw a house. <laughs> it's got a window. Or, or two. It's got two windows and a nice red door. And it's on fire! <laughs> oh, ooh, I've got something there. <laughs> Those windows aren't aligned. Comfort a girl whose house is on fire. I'm trying to comfort a girl who. Ooh. Yeah, that dark brown, not not a good colour for a house. But, gonna make it work. Uh, there's the door handle. <laughs> gotta, gotta add that important detail in. <laughs> Uh, all right, fire, fire! Woo! The house is on fire. Much like <laughs> this looks exactly like I did earlier, except it's a house and not a factory. Um, uh, for some reason, I apparently really like drawing fire. This is don't don't look too in too into that. Uh. Oh, there's red, red fire. Okay, my fire drawing skills have gotten better. <laughs> um, hmm, hmm. Yeah, the important bit of this is a a girl's house is. Like, how do I, how do I make sure? Fire or giant cat's ear peeking out from behind the house. Hey now. Hey. It's clearly. Very clearly fire. It'd be much straighter if it was a cat's ear. Okay, this is... Oh, this is the bit where it's gonna go wrong. Fire cat! It's a fire cat! Oh! The cat is on fire! Oh no! <laughs> they left the cat in the house! Oh. Oh. That's why she's upset. Oh, goodness. Alright. It's a beautiful fire. Thank you, Amber. <laughs> it's, it's not really, um, but this looks like a super size emoji. <laughs> oh goodness! Um, that's the only thing I'm thinking while I'm drawing this is, you know, that meme of, of the little kids and the house is the house is on fire in the background and she. Looks like she did it. <laughs> that meme is, is what I'm seeing right now. <laughs> but as if I could ever. So they bonus boy <laughs> bonus marks if it's the girl at the meme. Oh, what does she look like? House on fire girl meme. It got it! <laughs> okay, she's got short brown hair. That's just gonna look like a generic person. Oh, Oh, she needs arms. Okay, her arm is kind of. She's very upset, so she's kind of holding her arms up, like, "Oh no, whatever will I do? My house is on fire." Someone's trying to comfort her, and she's like, <laughs> and she's all like, "Actually, it was me, sinister." <laughs> oh yes, yes. You, you've created the story behind my my drawing for me. <laughs> Usually I do that. Um, okay, I've not hit half time yet. Almost. I'm keeping an eye on the time this time. So so no one goes, You only have three minutes to draw! <laughs> such and such. Because uh, that happens so often. It's like, like oh, look this hair. She does have like really sort of wispy hair. Yeah. But it's kind of like shorter than that. Oh, I don't know how to draw short, short girl hair. Short guy hair, yeah, short. But short girl hair. Mm. Mm. Oh, I'm trying to really look at this picture. She's a little creepy, actually. The more you look at it, the more you're like, hmm, hmm. I'm not sure I want to be looking at this. 
this girl who set this house on fire. Uh, she has like wispy, wispy fringe bits. Like that, but it just looks terrible in my drawing. Um, make it more wispy. Wispy fringe bits. There we go. She, I, I can't. <laughs> Don't you have short hair? Is my hair classed as short? Hmm. <laughs> Draw myself. Uh, my hair's like oh, it's, it's medium length. It's too like she's got just. Oh, that's the wrong colour. I thought I was still in brown. I, I was not. Uh, yeah, the eyes. I can't do the sinister eyes, because... I just draw lines. Oh, she's got too big of a forehead. There we go. I'm gonna have to go catch the buzz. I'll join you again if you're still streaming when I'm home. Oh, thank you! Bye-bye, Amber! Thank you for at least coming to watch me a little bit. It's nice to have another interference regular around. So thank you. I I hope you enjoy the rest of your day. Ah, <laughs> oh, all right. Sinister, sinister looking eyebrows. Yes, this is what is this? She doesn't really have much in the way of eyebrows because she's like a child. Um. <laughs> Oops. What is that? There we go. That looks a little better. Cool, it's the meme girl. I don't know what she's wearing. Like it doesn't like the, the meme cuts off. I think like I can see like a little glimpse of like something a little pinky, so I think I've got it. I think I've got it down. Alright. Oh I've only got there's a fly. I've only got three minutes to draw. Comforting. That fly. These headphones are like slipping on my head this week. Did did my head get smaller? Um I feel like this person should be bigger than the girl. Oh, I'm going to have to rework the entire thing. Okay, cool. Two minutes, two and a half minutes left to draw some guy comforting the little meme girl. Meme girl, she's just a meme. She's a meme these days. Um, We'll do it in like this, this colour. He's like holding his arm out. He's like holding her shoulder or something. That's what you do when you comfort people, right? <laughs> I I wouldn't know. I'm bad at comforting people. Oh. All right. Okay. Should like have more of a neck coming down. There we go. It's got a neckline. Cool. All right. He's got an arm. Here. He's got really big sleeves again. I need to stop that. How do I not draw really? big sleeves. Like that. There we go. Cool. Now his arm's gonna kind of bend the wrong way. And <laughs> get a merge with her arm, apparently. Alright, I'm gonna like try and get rid of a bit of the sleeve. Alright. This guy has a weird hand. <laughs> but we'll, we'll, we'll roll with it. Alright, alright, alright. I say alright a lot. Kind of cut off a bit of his arm. Let's round his arm out a bit. Oh! That looks a bit too weird. Cool. There we go. This guy does not have hair. Generic brown haired guy. You're here again. He needs eyes. How do you do a comforting face? What is a comforting face? Is that comforting? That seems a little creepy. <laughs> that seems even more creepy. Oh, what am I what am I doing? That looks a little more comforting. Uh <laughs> It's okay. <laughs> it's comforting, right? Trying to comfort a girl whose house is on fire. She looks so evil. You're right. She does. <laughs> this is... Oh my goodness. It's the eyebrows. It is! Like, if you want to draw evil, just slanty eyebrows. Like, I didn't have to draw, like, the sinister, like, half-closed half, half -closed eyes. Like, 
No, no, just, just my, my usual eyes. This guy looks kind of a little derp. He looks comforting, sure. He doesn't have much hair. Um, he's losing it all. It's the stress of having this this girl as a child, most likely. <laughs> I want to know why was the house on fire. Um, okay, is it not obvious? <laughs> oh, and the Mr. Burns style rubbing hands together. You know what? I hadn't even caught that. I just automatically done it. Like, ooh. Like she was, she was supposed to be upset, and then we we're all like, "It's the girl, that's that's the meme girl. It's the meme girl." Oh, Derp McGee is his name. Yes, it's Derp McGee and Meme Girl, and then house on fire. <laughs> well, there has to be a story behind it. There's always a story behind my drawings. It's just a thing now. It's a thing. I just automatically there's a story behind it for some reason. Oh dear. Alright. Do I want to look at my profile right now? Oh, I'm still on old drawings. Cool. <laughs> Alright. Shall we see what I've done so far? Oh my goodness. Yep. <laughs> I'd forgotten the zeitgeist. But but now, now I see. <laughs> oh yeah. It doesn't even say the dact on the t-shirt. Hi. Hello Mighty Mo. That's what you were on about this, this week. It's that geist. I understand it now. <laughs> I'm glad I could draw that. Oh. Just just look at that masterpiece. <laughs> Going to get that printed on a ship for you for Christmas. Please, please no. I wish I had more time, because I would have made it look so good. I would have outlined the words and everything, but now we just got derp cat and... No. Oh. oh. So bad. Alright, let's get away from that. Let's go back to mixed play. <laughs> oh. Alright, it like, temporarily ruins my overlay. And then, oh. Someone's voted already and I haven't even read the thing, so I'm just holding this glass of water like, I think I should take a drink, but apparently I dripped it. Classic. Three ghosts from Pac-Man hide under a traffic cone. <laughs> Algebra calculus. <laughs> Theoretically, probably simple, but I don't know. Hmm. See, I had this, I had this like the past two weeks. Of there, there was a description, and I was like absolutely certain that description was from one of our regular players, uh, See You Around. And it turns out when the game did finish, I was like, yes, it was. I knew it was him. Or oh, her. Do we know? Do we know? Do we know? I'm not sure. I'm not sure I know. Him? Him? I should probably get drawing. Instead of talking. It's a traffic cone. How do I draw a traffic cone? <laughs> like, I know how to draw a traffic cone, but... How? <laughs> if, if, if you catch what I'm trying to say. Alright. Three ghosts? Why is there only three ghosts? Isn't there four? I'm questioning this. <laughs> oh. My traffic cone is gonna look really bad. It's like more... More of a... Not so like pointy kind of thing. There's no space to draw them hiding under a traffic cone. If I do that, um... popcorn. <laughs> why? Why is there popcorn? <laughs> um. Hmm. Hmm. I have like wasted almost two minutes doing nothing. <laughs> Just enjoying it. Oh. Alright, this is gonna be... I'm gonna put some effort into this. Because it's not too difficult of a drawing, I hope. I got like that bit on the top. Um. <laughs> How do I draw like the, the white bit on the white background? Oh no. Oh. Put three ghosts and Pac-Man inside of it. Just sticking that... I 
I wish I could. I wish I. I wish I was that good. But they're just gonna be have to. They're just gonna have to be underneath. <laughs> it should have been tilted. Ah, now I think of that. Uh, oh, that's too small. It's like now, now I happen to think that I should have tilted the traffic cone. Why didn't I think of that earlier? <laughs> I wish, I wish I had done. Because now it's going to look kind of ridiculous. <laughs> Do you know the ghost from Pac-Man? Make it a colourful- I, I am well aware of- Oh, I undid. Thank you, redo button. <laughs> redo button is, is so- so helpful. What is what is that one ghost? The one ghost whose name does not fit all the rest. Why can't I? I can't remember the ghost names. <laughs> Pinky, Pinky and Blinky and Ah, Steve. <laughs> no, that's not one of them. Um. Okay, it's a traffic cone. It's like a really bad Clyde. That's it. Thank you. Of course you'd know this. <laughs> ah, I un I undid again. Inky Blinky Pinky Clyde. Inky's the one I forgot. And then there's Clyde, which no one remembers because it doesn't rhyme. Though apparently people do remember it. Maybe it's just me that doesn't remember it. I couldn't remember Inky. No. <laughs> oh. All right. Um. Why do I go next for this? Uh, okay, I just want to make sure I do the ghosts justice. Right, it's three. It's it's three ghosts. Is that because only three of them rhyme? Hmm. Is that what we're getting at here? Is that why there's only three of them? They got rid of Clyde. Clyde didn't match. <laughs> oh. This, mm, they're gonna have to be like small ghosts under a traffic cone. How are they hiding though? They're not hiding, how? Mm. Like part of me wants to scrap it all <laughs> and start again. Cool, let's do that, quick, quick fire. Ah, I highlighted all the colors. Okay, it's, it's a traffic cone on its side. Gotta, gotta go quicker than that. It's traffic cone that's a bit wonky. Okay, okay, okay. I'm stressing. It's got the, the wonky bit at the top. Traffic cones always have. All right, all right, all right. Ah, stressing. It's got the curved bit with the black. They're all hiding from Clyde on the cone. <gasps> that's it, they don't like Clyde because he doesn't match. So they're hiding from him. Oh, I feel sad for Clyde now. It's really sad. Why Why have we come up with this backstory? I'm not going to have time to draw the ghosts at this rate. <laughs> okay, cool. The little, little traffic cone bit. There we go. Bigger. Bigger. Nice. That's not very, like, central or anything. It's all a bit wonky. We can deal with that. Okay, cool. It's little pac one ghosts. Hiding under a traffic cone. They had blue eyes, right? Like white eyes and then blue eyes. And I'm just like... Ooh! That looks a little creepy, they had bigger eyes than that. I'm gonna like forgo my classic eyes for something that is more... There we go! It's a derpy looking pinky. Okay, next up is Blinky. Blinky's a little bigger apparently. Um, it's fine. Okay, all right, all right. Put the eyes on. This eyes look bigger, but I think I used like the same, <laughs> the same thing. 
Oh, why are they looking upwards? That looks a little dip. Cool. All right, we're gonna get it. We're gonna get it. It's, it's I'm missing inky. Ah, we don't have like a good inky color. It's either too dark or too blue. Oh, no interference and no inky color. Okay. Okay. I've got this. Look. Even having to redo it. Like I can now make. The ghosts just get a little bigger as they go along. <laughs> it's fine. No one's going to notice that. Right? What colour blue did I do the eyes in? Ah. I've forgotten. There we go. They're hiding under a traffic cone. Now I can perfect my traffic cone. It's like propped up with like a, a stick. They're hiding under it. <laughs> they had lunch, that is why they're big. Yes, they just they've just eaten. It's a stick. See? It's propping up the traffic cone. Here we go, here we go. We're getting there. It looks it looks alright. Right? Please someone someone tell me it looks alright. Okie dokie, and then it's like, like, smooth out the edges. There we go! Like, the edges look smoother, and smooth out, like, the top bit, because it's, like, not usually that bulky. Oh, look at that! It's a traffic cone! <laughs> no, if I try and do anything like that, Sure. No. Yes. Maybe. I feel like I need to cut into this a bit. Like, Doing some real, real intricate things. That's why I'm having to lean in so close. <laughs> there we go. Where is Pac-Man? It, it never, it never says Pac-Man's actually in the image. Three ghosts from Pac-Man hide under a traffic cone. He doesn't need to be there. As long as it's the Pac-Man ghosts, right? I've got no time to draw Pac-Man. Oh, I've just seen that bit. That bit's wonky. Uh, okay, and this this bit's a bit wonky. All right, we've got it. It's the three ghosts from Pac-Man hide under a traffic cone. <laughs> Thirty-five seconds. I've got six seconds. I can't draw Pac-Man. <laughs> but yeah, there we go. Oh yeah, good point. I read that as hide from Pac-Man. Ah, see. There's no Pac-Man here. They could be hiding from Clyde, because he doesn't rhyme. <laughs> as, as we've discussed. <laughs> but yeah, three ghosts. They're just from Pac-Man. Someone had to make sure we knew which ghosts we were talking about. Oh, there's like a little white bit there. Oh, I wish I caught that. <laughs> oh, all right. Why does is, why is your traffic go and look like the Tower of Pisa? <laughs> I hadn't noticed that, but you're right. It, do it does a little bit, doesn't it? It's, it's leaning. <laughs> it's because it's propped up with a stick. Alright, I think we have time for one more. What time is it? I'm looking like over there. No, my clock is down here. Yeah, got time for, for like one, one more. Yeah, it's coming up to like 10, 10 2. Time for one more mix play. Don't forget to vote if it works. Pinocchio's brother unfortunately got a lying tongue. Or, oh, hi sir, I'm Venus. I think you lost a bit of your fire, sir. What? No, can I vote myself? Quick! Quick! <laughs> no! What is that? Who did this? Who did this? What does that mean? Please, chat, help me. Come on. Come on, gladiator. Bread mower. You likely voted for it. Unless, unless Tap Mr. Tapestry is still hanging around. But you're so good at fire! No! <laughs> is that, is that why, is that why we... <laughs> is that why you went for it? Because it's fire again? Hi sir, I'm Venus. I think you lost a bit of your fire, sir. 
Um, like I managed to get a vote in, but it, it, it made no no difference. I couldn't couldn't sway it. <laughs> Gladiator's just hiding under the traffic cone. With the, Venus. I searched Venus and I got the planet Venus. I wanted the the p goddess. That's the one. Mm, I don't know how to do this. Help. <laughs> Help is needed. Hi sir, I'm Venus. I think you lost a bit of your fire, sir. Venus equal goddess, maybe. Yeah. Mm. Yeah, planet Venus holding up some fire to a random... I'm sold. I like that idea. Venus... Mm. Mm. It's not the best looking of planets. <laughs> <laughs> Do it, Planet Venus, yes. Uh, mm, yeah, it's kind of... I'm seeing like two, two strikingly different images of Venus. <laughs> Here. <laughs> uh, let's go with the nice, nice white, white blue version. The sun talking to Venus. <gasps> You've cracked it. Venus is like, hi sir, I'm Venus. I think you lost a bit of your fire, sir. It's the sun. Venus is talking to the sun. You're right. We cracked it. How do I draw the sun? Um, uh, um, two planets having a conversation. Uh, I mean... I don't, I don't think... I don't, I don't think the sun is counted as a planet. <laughs> just, just saying. Just saying. <laughs> oh yes, perfect. How do I draw the sun though? Ah! Help! The sun's just gonna look like my fire. <laughs> it's just yellow and red. And orange. It's it's the sun. No, I can't put red on the sun because now it just looks like... I don't know. I don't know. What is the... What is what is the sun? What is the sun? It's, it's, it's classic sun rays, yes. <laughs> like a child. As I've said before, I draw like a child. <laughs> I'm gonna be very You know what? I'll I'll take a sneaky peek at what this description actually was. <laughs> Afterwards. Cause I don't mind the sun needs to be like more I don't know what I'm doing with the sun. I don't know how I'm gonna signify that the planet Venus is sun is This sun is atrocious. <laughs> how does the sun lose fire? Thank you for pointing that out, buddy. <laughs> uh like Venus is kind of white and blue. I'm not very good at like colour mixing. <laughs> yeah. It's like you know, like woo Woo is this is this is this Venus yet? <laughs> Help! <laughs> Solar flares. Yes, the 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 sun flares are, are are a bit of losing a bit of its fire. Um. Uh. Mm, uh. I don't know how to how 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 does how does one like this does not look like nah. I don't know how people do like nice fancy colours mixed together because I apparently cannot draw <laughs> draw Venus. <laughs> the plan Why did I? I would have been better just drawing the goddess. To be fair, like I'm better at people than I am whatever this is. That's a planet, right? <laughs> I am so glad Mr. Tapestry is not here. Because he would roast me for this. There we go. That's Venus. I dare someone to draw a better Venus on <laughs> on interference. <laughs> Cause I sure can't. I've spent too much time on Venus. Um, <laughs> that's a weird thing to say. <laughs> okay. Hi, sir. I'm Venus. <laughs> that looks like a snowball. <laughs> Alright. Okay. 
Just because you said that. Nathan, don't kill me, but I'm writing. <laughs> I'm writing on it. But to be fair, we got business cards done. With writing on them as well. So we condone, we condone writing, apparently. Hi, sir. I'm... I'm gonna write it correctly this time. There will be no T that does not have its line. True. See? No, there was a full stop at the end of it. Okay. I think you lost a bit of your fire, sir. I don't know how to do that part. I just wanted to make sure people people knew it was Venus and the sun. Beyond that, I'm not quite sure. Um, uh, help. Help is needed. I feel like the sun looks weird being in two different colours. So I'm just going to make it yellow. Because I can't do blending. Does it look worse now that the sun's yellow? Just go for a hand holding out some fire. Venus has a hand. <laughs> what colour blue did I do Venus in? Okay. I feel like Venus should be mm, eh, mm. holding a hand out here. I didn't want to do it at the bottom because then it just looks a bit weird. <laughs> a hand coming out of Venus's butt. Um. That's a hand, right? <laughs> Definitely this. <laughs> oh, I was, I was about to say this is the next business card drawing, but you know what? No, no. The Zeitgeist one should be the next business card drawing. <laughs> oh, dear. Right, here's my classic fire! Yeah, we're doing it. We're doing it. Look at this. It's fire. <laughs> it's gone a bit wonky. I have two minutes left. That's so much time to do so many things. <laughs> a good artist would be able to do so much with that. Smiley face! Oh, I feel like this needs to like needs to a little bit more like round. Oh, now the red's gone a bit wonky. Like there needs to be sinister eyes. <laughs> no, I'm not putting sinister eyes. No, this is not <laughs> the last drawing. <laughs> oh, hello. X I underscore M R C underscore I X. Hello, M R C. Thank you for following. I'm surprised you would follow when this is <laughs> this is just the display of content. <laughs> Venus stole the sunfire. Oh, you're right. It looks like Venus stole it. I really hope Vex Tapestry never sees this. Oh, I undid it. <laughs> so many times I undo it. Like I want to I go for press white, but now apparently I press un undo instead. Let's put Oh, that O looked terrible. Here you That G and O looks terrible. Ah uh... We don't want a redact situation. Here you go. There we go. Venus isn't stealing from the sun. Fixed it. Hi sir, I'm Venus. Here you go, thanks. Giving the, giving the sun back to... Giving the fire back to the sun. Oh, I ran out of time. Alright. Are we ready? Are we ready to see what that originally was? I so just want it to be exactly what I've drawn. Like, it's the sun and Venus, obviously. What else could it be? <laughs> okay. Oh, oh, I'm gonna have to refresh. <laughs> Okie dokie. 
Here we go! Those are my drawings from today. Aren't they wonderful? <laughs> oh dear. Some of these are great. Like, I like the little Pac-Man one. I think it turned out pretty cute. Uh, this girl. I I like the creep crazy girl. But let's see. I think I think we're on the right track here because it is actually about planets, <laughs> and I'm I am shook. <laughs> I am so shook right now. Did we get it right? Did we get it right, guys? <laughs> Went for the right Venus. <laughs> what is this? <laughs> Go back up. All right, let's let's go through it. So the Earth is being eaten by a giant potato. <laughs> it's a space potato consumes the Earth, which you know that's that's pretty good. Hungry, take a Snickers Mars. <laughs> so it's the Earth offering Mars a Snickers, as Earth offers Mars a Snickers. <laughs> it's got a little moon. That's a really good drawing. Wow. <laughs> much better than what I look they they have done like the proper blending of the earth and it's it's great we've ended up here which is <laughs> earth handing Snickers to the Sun I'm not quite sure that that's that looks like earth anvil mm. <laughs> um, but apparently that looked like Venus to the artist and he was actually handing what looks like fire to the Sun <laughs> I am... I am amazed. Good job. Good job, you figured it out. <laughs> I should have added a happy face. <laughs> I mean, like this. I should have been like this guy. This looks really good. Oh, some of these draw like the giant space potato looks more like a dinosaur, I think. But it's still a good drawing. This one, unhappy, unhappy Mars. <laughs> It's really hungry. Love that space potato. Yes. Both space potatoes. Really good. <laughs> but yeah. Oh wow. That was a roller coaster. Don't go back to play. Go back to go back to me. What am I doing? I'm pressing so many buttons. Oh. <laughs> if you drew the goddess Venus, I would have completely messed up the game. <laughs> I mean, I can't. When I think Venus, I think, oh, someone, someone who's like Venus is, was clearly speaking in the description. <laughs> and, and so I thought, it's a human. It must be the goddess Venus, obviously. That's the point of the game, though. You are right. It's a game all about miscommunication, and apparently, we we, had, we could have had it, but we we didn't. We got it right. I'm. I'm Surprised we got it right. I really am. Anyway, that is that's my stream for this week. I was just trying to make it weird by suggesting the planet. Oh, but Nathan, you got it so right. So so right. <laughs> I thought I thought we were gonna be like the odd ones out, to be honest. We were not. We We were we too we were too right. But yeah, that is that is my stream for this week. As you can see, there are some masterpieces here, um, <laughs> such as Zeitgeist Breakdown Test Card. Bam, it's the best one. I feel like if <laughs> I feel I feel like we've lost. We we just had like two viewers, um, and I forgot to to point out that if you like this, you can uh, you know. Check it out and play for yourself over on playinterference.com. Uh, if you want to, you can find the link in the chat. Thank you, Breadmower. <laughs> Repping his own game there. But yes, that's it for my stream. Thank you for watching. And I, I will see you maybe, maybe next week. I'm not entirely sure. My my streaming schedule for, for the midweek interference and chill might be a little messed up for the next two weeks um, as, as work gets busy but hopefully after that things will settle down and I, I will be back 
but maybe maybe you'll see me next week maybe you won't but yeah thank you for joining me thank you for everyone who, who followed and um yeah check out interference and don't forget zeitgeist the interference quiz of the week which <laughs> it's already been described <laughs> <laughs> so that's profile picture. No. Hi, Nathan, that should be your profile picture. <laughs> Ding. <laughs> but yeah, you can check out this exact, exact thing, Psygeist, with this, this amazing, <laughs> this amazing rendition. Fred Moe will actually create this with his cat. But next Psygeist, so if you want to see that, Sunday, 7pm UK time. <laughs> <laughs> and I'll be back here maybe uh, 6.30 UK time uh, next Wednesday. Maybe not, but you can join the Discord to find out and I'm sure I'll update everyone there. So yes, thank you for watching and I will see you guys again. Bye!